a little close up of our neon Tetris. Yeah, I thought this video would be uh, interesting because I want to show you how they interact with some of the natural botanicals in their setup. Thanks you know, to Tannin Aquatics. Yeah, Tannin Aquatics. Yep, yeah, Scott is the man. Uh, we get all, I would say, most of my botanicals come from Tannin Aquatics. Um, I do pick up some magnolia leaves from uh, from reptile shows because they're, uh, they're usually used as leaf litter for uh, poison arrow tree frogs. But I wanted to show you how neon tetras really like to pick on and pick around leaves that are starting to slowly decompose in, the, in, in, in their aquarium and their setup. Now, think, we'll put it... Um, link below for Tannin Aquatics because they are Tannin Aquatics is the um, you should always go to Tannin Aquatics so as you can tell these guys spend a lot of time as a small school pretty much doing what you see right now They're, you know they, they'll swim from tank from side to side but this tanks not really large enough for them to constantly show their schooling behavior but since they don't feel threatened, they have no problem just slowly picking around, around the leaves. And, and they do this all day. So, you know, a lot of fish are grazers. And sometimes feeding them once a day, maybe even two times a day, typically isn't enough. Sometimes it's best to have a food source available to them that they can pick on throughout the whole entire day. And I'm starting to think that that might be the key to keeping... A lot of small schooling type tetras like this. Now the Von Rios are not really known for picking on the leaves like these guys. The black neons that are in this tank don't really care too much for the leaves themselves either. But I have started to notice that the neons really do like feeding on the biofilm that develops on these leaves and also on the food particles that actually fall between them and around them. Where the other fish ignore them, the neons tend to go in there and pick them out. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool because they're the only fish that do this in, in the tank besides the Corydora. Yeah, now, now the other thing too is you got to remember, this is coming from a guy who's been in this hobby. I'm 44 years old. I've been in this hobby my whole life. And this is the first time I've ever kept neon tetras. So I just finally found the miracle of the neon tetra. And I just want to keep talking about them. So you guys have probably have had them so many times in your lives and are probably saying, hey, you know, why did it take so long? I don't know. I just never really, I, yeah, I just never really thought about them. And, and now I wish I'd never would have uh, ignored them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you guys have a nice Sunday night. Bye. Bye.